Hey guys, Dusty here. Today I'm going to talk about running strides. I'm going to talk about who can benefit from them, when we should do strides, and why we should do strides. So strides, also known as striders or accelerations, are essentially just short little 20 to 30 second intervals where you're building up to about 95% of your max speed and then back down. The key here is that you're not going to your max speed, you're going to almost your max speed, but not quite. So for sake of this video, let's say 90 to 95% of your max. Typically they're done at the end of a workout. So for myself, I like doing them at the end of an easy run or sometimes even at the end of a long run. And you can also do them before workouts. So they're a great option for people looking to warm up for a harder interval session, say at the track. And I almost always recommend doing strides before a race. So in the morning when you're warming up for your race, I recommend doing a few sets of strides just to prime the body and get it ready for your hard race effort. So what does the stride look like specifically? Let's just say I had finished an easy run and I'm gonna do four sets of strides. So I'll come to a nice straight flat area. This can either be at the track, on a road, even on a grass field but you want an area where you can run problem free for about 20 to 30 seconds. So when I start my stride, I'll start off easy and over the first five or 10 seconds, I'll build up to about 95% of my max speed. I'll hold that for about 10 seconds and then I'll slow back down. After that, usually I'll just take my time and walk back to where I had started the stride and I'll do it three more times. Now the key during the actual stride itself is running really relaxed. I'm not working hard, I'm working fast. So yes, you're running at 95% of your max speed, but because it's so short, you should be able to be really smooth and really efficient. So we're not pumping our arms like crazy or grimacing with our face. You're trying to be relaxed and smooth and make it look easy. Just remember fast doesn't always have to mean hard. One of the takeaways of doing strides is becoming more efficient and relaxed at these faster running paces. So I'll do my strides about three or four times after a, an easy or long run. And it just helps put some snap back into my legs. And on the flip side, when I'm doing strides before say a track workout or a race, I'm just looking to prime my body and get it ready for the hard mile repeats or the hard 5K or half marathon or whatever the race is that day. So why do we do strides? Well, if you're going into a hard track workout or a race, it's a great way to loosen up and prime the body for it to get ready for the hard efforts. It's also a great option for beginners who aren't used to doing harder running yet. A lot of runners starting out might get nervous about thinking they're gonna go to the track and do mile repeats. So simply just adding in strides at the end of every workout is an easy way to start easing in some of those harder efforts. And the number one reason why I think strides are important is it just helps us be smooth and relaxed at a faster running pace. I think one of the best compliments I get when I'm running, especially in a race, is after the race if someone comes up to me and says, oh, you, you were making it look so easy, you look so smooth out there. And I think, well, thank you so much because I absolutely was not feeling that way. I was working very, very hard but if I came across as I was running smooth and making it look easy, then that's exactly what I want. I want to be able to run, say, half marathon pace or 5K, 10K pace and make it look smooth. If it's really hard and I'm on the struggle bus, then chances are I'm probably not gonna have a really good race or I'm probably gonna get injured. So to review what strides are, they're 20 to 30 second buildups or accelerations up to about 95% of your max speed. You can start off with doing about three or four of them. Slowly over time, you can build up to say five or six. You can start doing them at the end of easy runs or long runs, or if you're doing a hard run workout or if it's race day, you can do them before. The rest interval should be anywhere from about one to two minutes. Like I said, I usually just walk back to where I start at my stride and start again. So if you haven't started doing strides, I definitely recommend doing them. I know it's something a lot of runners know about, but not a lot of runners do. And I think a lot of people can really benefit from them. There's a reason why a lot of the elite and pro runners do strides and it doesn't take anything to do them. You just need a couple minutes at the end of your run. So give it a shot and let's all become more efficient at running faster.